Hello YouTubers, just a short explanation to uh, intro into this video. In, when you look in this video you'll see it was all these measurements were times by 8 because it was 8 foot to the middle of the building. In your case this would be different because you'd measure between the wall plates half, half the amount to get to the ridge line and then that measurement you get then you would divide by 12 and whatever measurement you got out you times it by that measurement. So the rise and the run would be times by the measurement you got out of that. Also um, put on the length of rafter feet that you need to get to the fascia. So I have just took it out because it's too hard to explain it all to you. So remember to add on the rafter feet to get to the fascia and also to take half the ridge out of this as well. But it was just doing it an easy way with round numbers to show you uh, how to do this with no hassle. Hello, I just uh, thought I'd do a video to explain the simple way of cutting a roof on the floor. When your wall plates are square and level and the same measurement at each gable end. The previous video was um, showing you how to do it when the building is probably out of square and the wall plate may be four to six inches out of square on some of the older barns I work on but this is on a new build that is square so how to work it out to cut the roof on the floor very very simple you've been told to cut this roof at one in six now that's what you've got to remember one in six is it's 12 inches across the bottom by six inches up. Now do this very accurately on a piece of timber and measure those distances. Now I will convert this into millimeters because you lads are in millimeters and I like inches and things. So that six inch rise equals 153 millimeters and the run to the middle is 12 inches, so 12 inches equals 305 millimeters. Okay? So what we're going to do, we'll measure this now. Like I told you before, half, is, so that's 8 foot. So we'll work this out now. Wall plate to wall plate. 16 foot. Half that to the measurement we just did then is 8 foot. Now if you want to convert that into millimeters, which you will, so that's 8 times 305 millimeters and that's 2440 millimeters. So. There you go, 2,440. Now you do the same thing now, you've got this bottom, which you know is eight foot, so you want to get the rise, which is six inches, or in millimeters, one, five, three millimeters. So you times that by eight, and it'll give you 1,224 millimeters, and that'll be the total rise. So you, have, you only need to do the same thing with the rafter length. So you measure, remember measure these very accurately because they're going to be, it'll be out otherwise. So you need to measure these extremely accurately. But from there, where your rafter goes to the front of the bird's mouth, to the top here, which isn't the top of the rafter, it's the height of a plate, is 13 and 3 eighths. We'll convert that into millimeters for you, which is 340 millimeters. Times that by 8 again. And the total rafter run is 2,720 millimeters. 
after you've cut it, take half the ridge amount off after you've cut it. And there you have your rafter. Length all worked out from the ground. You can take your rafter cuts off this little small one as well. And just to prove this is one in six, I'll just put this on here for you. If you look there, on the common rafter, that's one in six, look. So, you can do it many, many complicated ways, but this is the easiest. Remember, you just have to multiply this by what half your length, your distance is. So I hope this is helping you out. Um, another thing you can do is if you've got, well, we're on this, I always use a little small little cheek calculator like this, not my phone because it's got a square root on it. And it's very, very easy to use. Now, if you've got this run on the bottom and the rise, you can calculate that, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what this length is. So we'll do this now. All you've got to do is to measure this in inches, which is 96 inches. So times that by itself, which is 9,216. Then you get your rise, you measure that, which in this case is 48 inches. Times that by itself again, which is 2,304. So you add them two together, 115.20. So we'll put that in there now. 115.20. And just press the square root button, and it's 107.33. So, let's see what we got. There you go, look. 107.33 of an inch. Dead on. You can do that with any, any length but I do that in inches. But when you want to work out this rise and run, do that in millimeters, because you younger fellas are, you know, you're more into that than me. So I hope you've, this has helped you out, because I, I think a lot of people think I can't cut a roof, <laughs> but I can. So um, there we are. So remember, whole, Width from wall plate to wall plate, wall plate was 16 foot. Half that to get the, to the middle where your rafter is. So that was 8 foot. Then we do this little small triangle. 12 by 6 inches. Convert that into millimetres. So 6 inch, that rise there is 153 millimeters and the 12 inch is 305 millimeters. So remember this was 8 foot times 305 by 8 equals 2440 millimeters. Then we'll do the rise so times 153 millimeters by eight, and we get 1224 rise. So that's the total rise of that there, at six in, six in one, or six by 12. So when you end up get the rafter run, you get that measurement there, Remember, do this very accurately, because a millimetre will make a big difference here and there. So in this case, 
that is 340 millimeters times that by eight which is this eight foot down here and the total rafter length is two seven two oh millimeters so cut that rafter and then take the half the ridge off after you've cut it and that is how you cut the roof remember though the mistake a lot of people make is you are measuring from the bird's mouth which is not at the top of the rafter so you have to remember when you put your bird's mouth in okay this will come up here now and your rafter It'll be there, won't it? Where the bird's mouth would be. So that's the only thing you've got to remember. So get your angles wrong. So I hope this has helped you out. Get a simple, small little calculator with square root on. It's a godsend, and it's a lot easier to piss about than any of the phone. You just chuck it in your pouch and things. So, hope this has helped you out and I'll do a few more tips when i got time.